It's almost here, Overwatch 2. And guess what else is almost here? The shutdown of Overwatch 1. <laughs> Yes, it's a very depressing thing, very, very depressing. All those memories made, well, it's it's getting deleted. You know, 6v6 is not a thing, it's now 5v5. That's wonderful. But with it, before it leaves, there are some things I need you to do right now, just in case, if you haven't already, to get it done before Overwatch 2 releases. Trust me now, you should get it done. What are those things you might be asking? Well, here, I'm gonna tell you. First thing, in case you've been sleeping and missed everything, Overwatch 2 is switching from a loot box-based system to a battle pass shop-based system, which a lot of people hate, but it's happening and you're forced to deal with it, so. There is that. Again, they're going to the root of a seasonal model, just like Fortnite. That is what the new future is. A battle pass every season, item shop skins constantly being added in. That is what you have to expect from this game. That is how they plan to do it. Now, for anyone that plays Overwatch 1, you kind of understand this is a massive change from what you've kind of been used to. A character gets added in, you get skins with the character when a seasonal event occurs, you get those skins also obtainable through an event or obtainable to, uh, through the said seasonal loot boxes. That's how it's always been, but that's no longer the case. They're gonna hit the item shop, that's how it's gonna go, and there's gonna be, guess what? A new currency. The currency is right here, they're called Overwatch coins. These are the prices, I believe, what's confirmed to be the prices. That is how they're gonna look, that is how they're gonna be displayed in game. Very similar to Fortnite, if you played that, very similar to COD points in Call of Duty. If you know those things, that's exactly what you're getting here. A brand new currency releasing called Overwatch coins, and that is how you're going to obtain some of the future cosmetics. That's just how it's gonna work. But now the big question that's on everyone's mind, hey, what the hell's gonna happen to the credits we have saved in Overwatch 1? Are those just gonna be useless? Are they just gonna be removed, deducted, traded into Overwatch coins? The last one, people think that, obviously, but that's not happening, just, just be honest with you. We do have an answer, now this is the point of the video, what you should be doing right now, and what you possibly, you know, can get a ton of still. It's only a little bit of time left, but if you play, you know, don't leave the house, don't even go outside to see the sunlight, lock yourself in your room and just play all day you can obtain a decent amount. So again, currently in Overwatch 1, you can still obtain loot boxes and credits if you play into quick play matches, all that is the case. With the launch of Overwatch 2, we do not know at this moment in time if we can still earn the legacy credits of, from Overwatch 1. We don't know if that's currently the case or what's gonna happen. We don't know what the entire breakdown is. If you play a match, you get 25, 10, 15, or if just nothing happens anymore. Again, we know that we can obtain the currency to buy the battle pass from challenges, but again, the amount you get per week is insanely low, which will take you a very long time to actually purchase anything in the game, right? So basically, the confirmation we have, original Overwatch credits will carry over to Overwatch 2 for players to use in the new hero gallery on core launch cosmetics for new heroes. For example, Kiriko, Junker Queen, and Sojourn have two legendary, one epic skins, and a few um, other rare skins available to purchase with either credits or new coins. Now. With the coins you're earning, you can save those up and potentially use them on new characters. They specifically list these three. In the future, when more come out, maybe you can use these Overwatch credits there, but who knows, anything could change. Just keep that in mind. In addition, original Overwatch credits can be used to buy other always available items in the hero gallery for the 32 original heroes and some launch items in new cosmetic classes. For example, five new weapon charms as well. So again, that's how it's gonna work. Right now, whatever you're saving up, can be used to buy always obtainable items and some items for the three new characters and again future characters possibly so for everyone that had 1700 loot boxes randomly opened guess what something kind of good can come out from it kind of now when it comes to seasonal items this is where it's very tricky and i don't know how they're going to handle it but we have some sort of an idea this is what they say when it comes to that seasonal content delivered through previous events like summer games and lunar new year may be made available for overwatch coins now again overwatch coins are the purchasable currency they didn't say overwatch credits credits are the ones that we have in the last game so remember, I don't know how they're gonna do it for this game. They also go on to say a non-seasonal legacy items can be acquired with legacy Overwatch credits or Overwatch 2 coins in the hero gallery. So again, high chance moving forward, you know, seasonal items are just gone. They're, they're gone forever. You can actually obtain them. They're just not gonna happen. We really don't know again what they plan to do with it, but it just, it seems like currently they have no plan to let you, the coins you have right now, let those work for these skins, these seasonal ones, okay? If it's non-seasonal, go ahead, have fun. Those are the existing, every part of the year, every every day of the year you can obtain them. They exist in the game constantly. You can purchase those. When it comes to seasonal, you can't get those. And again, I believe currently in Overwatch 1, all of this stuff is unlocked for you. So what you should do right now, and again, it took me a little bit to get to the point, but I've been saying it kind of over the video. Try your best to get in as many matches as possible. Continuously go and win some quick play matches. Get your squad together. Go and stomp, go and quickly get wins or losses. 
and just obtain as much currency as you can. Whatever, you get enough currency. The whole point is try and raise up your currency before the game does go and shut down so that you have something and you know you have the ability to purchase these skins as we go into Overwatch 2. Again, we don't know if this is all waste and like when Overwatch 2 launches, they actually allow you to get Overwatch credits. We don't know how they plan to do the entire system. Again, just always expect the worst because, you know, you, you know, expectations are low. Hey, nothing can go wrong, am I right? But yes, with it, that's the whole point of the video. I just wanted to make sure this is aware before the game does go down. Try your best to obtain as much as possible. It will transfer over. Make sure you also get your SMS and all of that connected. You link your Battlelink account. Make sure that's all ready for Overwatch 2. Go and follow their, like, entire article they, like, launched. Also, pre-download is out now. So if you want to go and pre-download the game, you can on the, uh, on the launcher on PC. So... All of that is there, all that is pretty cool to see. That's really the entire point again, as mentioned. Get in, have some fun, get some last matches in Overwatch 1. Remember these memories, again, it's going away. We now have 5v5, three new characters, a few little things, and Battle Pass. That's, that's lovely. Peace out, enjoy, that's been it for me. Have fun, and I will see you guys on Overwatch 2. Or tomorrow, I don't know.